One of the major units in this class deals with the physical properties of the soil, more specifically soil texture, soil structure, and important properties such as the ability of that soil to intake and hold water related to texture and structure. One of your laboratories in this class will be where you determine texture of the soil not only by feel, but also where you go back in and determine in the laboratory setting the specific quantities of sand, silt, and clay, which of course are the three major soil separates that make up that particular soil and thereby come up with a textural class name for the soil. So we'll be emphasizing soil texture and structure both from a lecture discussion, get, you know, get acquainted standpoint, and then also from the standpoint of working with these properties, these physical soil properties, and recognizing them in both the laboratory and field exercises. Water relations in the soil, I, I mentioned that, but we're going to, to learn how to interpret water relations especially with an emphasis on what amount of water is being stored or held in the soil in a form available for plants to grow. Also, what is the ability of a soil to move or transmit water, which we'll learn as, as being the hydraulic conductivity of a soil, and how that varies as we, as we change or the water content of the soil both increases and decreases. Evaluating the temperature changes that occur in the soil throughout the year is a, one of the objectives for this class. The common types of gases that exist in the soil. By gases, I mean we have gases in our atmosphere. Those same gases are found in the, the soil pores or the, the atmosphere within the soil. But as we'll examine, the content of those does change quite dramatically from the air above the soil versus the content of those gases uh, in the air in the soil. And we'll be discussing and discovering how those changes occur and what causes those changes to occur. Chemical properties of the soil that we, that we specifically discuss in here are characteristics such as the soil pH, which of those ions, ions being charged particles that occur in the soil, cations and anions, which of those have very direct influences upon the pH of the soil, the pH of course being how acid or how basic that particular soil uh, is evaluated as. So base saturation, base cycling, as you see on objective number eight, those all relate to soil pH, cation exchange capacities, which is also included in, in objective number nine, being able to identify the principal exchangeable cations and how they affect or determine the pH of the soil. Soil formation and development is studied from a standpoint of, of looking at it as a process, what, what particular processes take place during soil formation and development and how that relates to the type of soil that's formed in a given geographical area. We will utilize the taxonomic system for soil classification, at least being able to recognize the uh, soil orders and, and the taxonomy of, of uh, soils underneath of those orders. And 